Windows is a joy to use, but its error codes aren't always the most explanatory. My name is Yadullah. You're watching Android Technology, and in this video, we're talking about how you can fix error code 087E00017 on Windows 11. Now, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is flush our DNS and reset our network interfaces just to make sure that whatever app is facing this issue, most probably Microsoft Store, is able to connect to the internet just fine. To do this, uh, just open up the command prompt. And in here, we're going to run two commands. The first one is uh, ipconfig slash flush DNS. And once you've run that one, uh, we're going to run netsh win sock reset. These two commands will make sure that you first flush out your DNS addresses cache. Uh, so in case there were any corrupt or old DNS addresses there, they will all get resolved. And then you just reset your network interfaces. So these two commands can also come in handy if you're having problems with your internet connection. Once you've run them both, go ahead and restart your system and try launching Microsoft Store or whatever the problematic app is once more. The next thing to do is to run WS Reset, which uh, resets uh, most of your Microsoft apps. To do this, simply press the Start menu and type in WS Reset. As you will see, the first option is Run Command, as this is a Microsoft Store command. So we're going to click on Run It, and that's it. It should automatically open up Microsoft Store, and it should be opening up without any problems, as you can see. The next thing to do is to run the Windows app uh, compatibility troubleshooter. Now, chances are you're going not going to need this really, but uh, just in case, we can make sure that we get this out of the way. So press the start menu and search for troubleshoot settings. As you can see, this is the first option that pops up. Click on it. Click on other troubleshooters. And now you will see a list of troubleshooters that show up. What we are interested in is the program compatibility troubleshooter. Now, Windows uh, has removed the app troubleshooter that we used to have. Uh, so we're just going to have to run this one. This is hap this happens because if you've recently updated your Windows and the Microsoft Store did not get updated, it kind of can have compatibility issues. So just make sure, go ahead and uh, click on the run button and this should find and fix any problems that you might be facing. The next thing we're going to do is to repair or reset the Microsoft Store itself. Now to do this, press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and head over to installed apps. In here, you will see the list of all the different apps that you have on your system, but Microsoft Store uh, will probably not appear here, even if I try searching for it. Yeah, as you can see, there is nothing in uh, store here. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way to the end of this list and you will see a system components option here. Go ahead and click on it. And then you will see Microsoft Store right here. Go all the way to the other side, click on these three dots and then click advanced options. Once we're in the advanced options menu, scroll down until you see the reset section. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is terminate the app. So it kills uh, any system component and related processes that the app might be running in the background. The next thing is we're going to click on repair and as you can see a progress bar appears and the system starts uh, trying to repair the app. Once the repair is complete you should be able to launch the app just fine but in case it isn't working you can go ahead and click on reset and this will delete all of the app's data which means you will have to log in and will all of your preferences will also be gone so be mindful of that but uh, click the reset button in this warning wait for the process to complete you can restart your system in the middle as well and it should resolve the error code that you're facing last but not least it's also always a good idea to check for windows updates because they often bring updates for microsoft apps as well to do this press windows key plus i to open windows settings and head over to the windows update section as you can see, I am already up to date, but uh, you can always click on the check for updates button just to make sure if you've missed any updates and get them back. Once they're all here, restart your system, try launching Microsoft Store again and the problem should be 
picks. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon, and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology. Follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.